Well, the four-year-old boy who fell off a 23-story cliff and got a chance to meet his rescuers today. Ryan Takeo tells us the firefighters were thrilled to see that boy doing so well. Sebastian waved to his heroes from his wheelchair, their lips quivering as they saw him get up and walk. Good to see you now. They once wondered if they'd ever see Sebastian again. He wasn't really conscious in talking to him. Marco Barros last saw the boy after he'd just fallen 230 feet off a of Bodega Head cliff. Marco has a boy the same age as Sebastian, which gave him an idea for a unique pep talk. You know, I just was you know, thinking of my kid who loves Spider-Man, loves all these superheroes, just trying to talk to him and say like, hey, you know, Spider-Man's proud of you. Sebastian channeled the superhero's mindset and made it here to Children's Hospital, Oakland. Here's what he looked like two weeks after the fall. At the time, doctors did not know how extensive his brain damage might be. <laughs> Today, he was walking and talking and acting like a normal four-year-old. <laughs> I'm glad he's doing so well. Just been a lot of emotions um, coming down here. But I'm glad I did. Sebastian met his heroes today, but they think he's the strong one. Sebastian's the hero. I've, the, to be able to survive that call and just to be able to, to be walking now is just amazing. Sebastian's family thinks he'll be out of the hospital in a couple of weeks but then he'll have a long road of rehabilitation. In Oakland, Ryan Takeo, KPIX 5. Sebastian's still going to make frequent trips back to Oakland once he's out of the hospital. By the way, the family's continuing to raise money for his care through a GoFundMe account.